Okay, what's up guys? So what I'm going to do in this video, it's not going to be a long video, it's going to be a short one, but I'm going to show you a pretty cool way to create a lot of objects in Blender without having to go shift D or even using the ray modifier because we want something that's a little bit more random and this is one way to do it and it's pretty cool. So so you want to use ChatGPT. So what you want to do is click here, so send message, then go type in write a pi on code to create 200 cubes in blender and then just click here and you can see it's telling you exactly what to do open blender create new project we know what to do and i'll show you the rest it's really easy and you can see sometimes it doesn't work perfectly so we might have to adjust this but let's go copy copy all go back to blender and then what you want to do is click here and go to text editor, bring this up. Now what you want to do is hit new, right click, paste. Okay, and go here, run. And you can see it's made a line of objects. So this is like using the array modifier, but let's go here. So what you can do is go here, say so make the cubes random. Okay, and then let's see. Like I said, that's when I said you might need to adjust the, the code and you can do it in Blender. So there, let's undo, 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 and then hit paste, run, and there we go. It's that easy. Look at that. And it's actually pretty cool. You can create some sci-fi looking kind of scenes and then what you can do is change this so let's make this five make this 25 go yeah make these 3.0 and now let's run it and you can see changes that and then you can see yeah uh, what you can do is you can change the size now so you can go down change the cube counts so you can make this 100, change this to like, if you want them big, 10, and then run it again. And I create something cool. And you can just play around with this. So you can go like 500, make this 1.0, and then run it. And there we go. And like I said, you can create some interesting stuff with this. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thought I'd just share this with you guys, figured it out, playing around with ChatGPT, and yeah, I'm going to make some more videos on creating things using ChatGPT and code, because I think it's interesting. Like I said, I know nothing about code, I know nothing about writing websites, writing scripts, like Python scripts, but with AI, it seems to be pretty easy, and then it's kind of straightforward, you can play around with, like it shows cube count, cube size, and I just change it, and it changes everything. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.